eight weeks. It's eight weeks since I tested a new car, drove a fast car, drove not to go to the shops or get meds, but drove just for the heck of driving, drove to put a smile on my face, to experience the thrill of driving. It's eight weeks since I felt alive and what a way to get the juices flowing again than this, the Mercedes AMG C63 Coupe. But wait, haven't we been here before? Oh, oh, oh my god! Where's my component? I can't even see it! Feel the car. Feel the it is. Before we proceed with the C63 AMG, do subscribe to the Evo India channel because there is plenty more coming up, including the new Skoda Karok, updated superb new Polo GT with the 1 litre TSI engine, travel stories like the Kia Seltos to the run of Kutch and many more. So this generation of the C63 isn't new to India. If I look back, I've destroyed probably two, four, maybe six sets of rear tyres on various C63s. And the fact that I keep getting back into the car, yeah, it means I am a hooligan. But also, the C63 is mega to drive. Now this new coupe, what is visible at the front is this new Panamericana grille, angry, growly, it's in your face. But the differences become even more noticeable when you move to the profile. It gets two doors, it's no longer a four door and it gets this gorgeous rear swoopy bodywork. The rear axle also, it is wider, so the rear haunches are wider, it's got more bracing for better handling and it also looks really good from the back. And most importantly, this is the C63, no longer the S, it is only the C63. That's the worry. We've become so used to the C63 S that losing that S badge, losing those 34 horses may make the AMG Coupe feel, how do I put this, tame? It is best to address that before you dismiss me as an idiot. What we have here is the 4-litre twin-turbo V8 that is closely related to the AMG GT. Except, here it has a wet sump to the GT's dry sump. Like every AMG, the motor is hand-built with plenty of motorsport experience going into crafting it. And it develops 469 bhp of power, 650 Nm of torque, it can do 0 to 100 in 4 seconds flat and it gets a top speed of 250 km per hour. Which can go up to 290 km per hour if you option the AMG driver's package. Before we get going, I must talk you through the interiors of the C63 AMG Coupe, which is different from the outgoing four-door. Now, you get CarPlay. Finally, there is CarPlay out here, but don't bother touching the 10.25-inch screen because this is not a touchscreen. You'll only leave your fingerprint smudged on it. In front of me, I have a wide 12.3-inch display, which I can change the display, so I get Super Sport, Sport and Classic. I prefer Super Sport, so we'll stick it in that. The steering wheel, a nice fat AMG steering wheel with a flat bottom, nice tactile feel to all these buttons on it, nice metallic effect to the paddle shifters and it's got these two extensions which makes up for usefulness in what it lacks in tactility because it does feel a bit too plasticky. Now on the right hand side, it has a Ferrari Manitino style knob so you can toggle between Comfort, Sport, Sport Plus or you punch it and you go straight into the individual mode. And on the left hand side, now this is where things get interesting. So the suspension, you can put it into comfort mode and it's best to keep the AMG Coupe in comfort mode. The exhaust, you can put it into the more powerful growly exhaust mode. The transmission, you can stick it into manual. You can switch off the start stop and it gets this AMG dynamic mode, which is new. So this toggles between basic, advanced and pro. And last but not the least, you can switch off ESP. You can switch it off completely. Rear wheel drive C63 AMG Coupe. Let's see what it can do. This is as much a hooligan as the C63. You got to remember, it's only 34 horses down on the S. And when you have 469 horses, 
650 newton meters of torque to play with that is just nothing you step on it and the rear wants to come to play and that's where the chassis the polish of the chassis really comes to the fore this is so playful you can be naughty with it it just does not get angry with you it's such a hoot such a hooligan i could play around with this car all day except we don't have spare tires and we have to get home this evening the coupe with its 50 mm wider rear track and increased camber actually gives the amg coupe a little more precision than the four door it allows you to push the front end drill harder and in that sense you have a little bit more grip to play around with now that said i've been talking about this being an oversteering demon but there's surprising amount of grip on offer when you drive it sensibly it does not step out when you don't want it to it does not bite you in the ass if you know what i mean you can play with it have fun with it and not get nervous and not get scared with this amg coupe it works with you and when you're in the mood for it it wants to play your the amg dynamics mode has a role to play now similar to what ferrari does with their high end electronics with the side slip control too here the system it works with you it is not intrusive you don't really feel the electronics cutting in and cutting out the power it works with you and enhances and flatters your driving abilities but of course you can switch everything off and then you are on your own now i must talk about this twin turbo v8 engine when it first replaced the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated v8 we all cried blue bloody murder but now that there are rumors that there'll be a four cylinder in the next generation man we are all singing high praises of this twin turbo v8 putting it on a high pedestal where it deserves to be there is wave of force induction power and torque inexhaustible wave after wave it really is never ending a tsunami of torque to fling you at the horizon at really ferocious pace it's hilarious how fast this c class can move <laughs> like all amg engines hand built in asphalt back with the amg engineer signing off on it it's a beauty absolute beauty and it sounds the part it sounds suitably potent angry gnarly full of power performance a mountain of performance downsides well the ride quality is really stiff sport plus you can only use it at a race track if you use it on a normal public road your teeth will fall off it is that stiff comfort should be labeled just about acceptable it is a firm riding car of course that firmness gives it the handling the edginess the chops to really make it go where you want it to go regardless of where the road twists and turns the seats these are very nice very supportive seats but i should recommend that you should try out a c63 before you buy it because if you are a little wider than i am the seats might feel a bit too snug for you the gearbox i must talk about the gearbox now in the four door we did criticize the gearbox for being a little slow on the uptake but here what they've done to the mapping is brilliant so fourth to third instant response instant flip of the throttle third to second again immediate fast pop a downshift it suits the character of the amg coupe so brilliantly in fact the gearbox now is a high point of this amg oh what fun this amg coupe is what a way to charge out of the confines of your home open the roads open the taps time to get on with living life this is mega 8 weeks without a fast car is 8 weeks too many
subscribe to the Evo India channel and hit the bell icon to keep pace with the thrill of driving.